Okay, let's talk about the cranial nerves. The cranial nerves are a dozen nerves that come out of the ventral aspect of the brain. Remember, ventral means belly side or the underneath of the brain. As you can see in this diagram, they come out in different areas from the brain, all the way from the most uh, rostral portions to the most caudal portions. Now, the cranial nerves are commonly referred to in this Roman numeral form, which I know is disturbing for some students. So <clears throat> when I ask you questions about these cranial nerves, uh, I will always tie together the Roman numeral with the word. So you could know one or the other. So I, I won't I won't ask, uh, what does cranial nerve 7 do? I will say, what does cranial nerve 7 facial nerve do? Okay, so you can remember these just by the 1 through 12, if you're good with the Roman numerals, or by their names. Okay, they're also more complicated than the summaries I've given over here, but I'm trying to make it easier for you. Most cranial nerves have both a sensory and motor aspect to them, but I'm just going to stick with a generic response here. So that there's more detail in this slide here than there are in what I'm requiring of you. Okay, so let's just make sure of that. But again, please notice these are classic multiple choice questions. So cranial nerve one is the olfactory nerve, and it allows you to smell things, right? It's in charge of olfaction. Cranial two is the optic nerve. Comes in right here. Optic nerve comes right from your eyeballs. Eyeballs, okay, so vision, key. Next uh, nerve is ocular motor, which is usually a pretty big one, found somewhere re right, right in here, and it's uh, involved with eye movement. Trochlear, number four, is on the sides. Tough to see sometimes, usually in the sides over here, trochlear. Number four, uh, eye movement, trigeminal. Number five is a big, strong muscle, face movement and mastication, which is chewing. Uh, number six, abducens, is another eye movement muscle. Seven is the facial, okay, face, tongue, movement. That has everything to do with senses of the face. Uh, cranial nerve eight is kind of sort of a combination nerve, vestibulocochlear. So cochlear means it's the auditory nerve, and vestibulo has to do with your balance. So this nerve, cranial nerve eight, has kind of this dual function of both hearing and balance. Cranial nerve nine, glossopharyngeal, glosso uh, and pharyngeal tongue and throat, so taste and swallowing for cranial nerve nine. Vagus is the master nerve. This is, uh, we didn't really pointed out specifically when we talked about parasympathetic sympathetic nervous system, but it is indeed the main nerve for the parasympathetic nervous system. Cranial nerve 11 is the accessory. It's involved in neck movement and hypoglossal number 12, hypo under the tongue. Hypoglossal is involved in tongue movement and swallowing. So please know all these functions of the cranial nerves.